Radiohead album number six. It's Hail to the Thief. Matty Gotch, thoughts? Famously, no one's favourite Radiohead record. Uh, old Hail to the Thief. A little came out of a slightly significant gap, if I'm not correct, between Amnesiac and Hail to the Thief. Uh, like a couple like four, of years. Four years. Yeah. Um, and they didn't come back with Maybe some, less, yeah, sure. And they didn't come back with something that was particularly different or innovative, and which, considering you know their past habits uh, with rampant innovation, mm. came as like a little bit of a disappointment for some. But this is just a return to form in in terms of uh, their their rock roots. This is a rock record. Totally. I mean, the thing about this album is that like their last two albums, OK Computer and then Kid A slash Amnesiac, that whole session. Mm. Uh, had apparently just like literally destroyed the band each time. The mm. band broke up during the, those both of those albums because of like how heated and horrible the sessions were and how much they were fighting and trying to make these masterpieces, which they did. They made fucking masterpieces and they were like, we're not doing that on this album. Mm. Let's just get in a room and just like pump it out. And so they recorded the whole record in like a week and they didn't hate each other at the end of it and they enjoyed it. Mm. And it means, and they didn't like cull stuff from it. Yeah. So it's like heaps longer, like there's about four tracks you could knock off and mm. would probably make the whole record a lot better. Not that they're bad tunes, but they're, you know, they're fucking B-sides and they're on it. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you can just tell it's not like it's laboured over an album, which isn't to say that the ideas aren't as good so much as that they haven't killed themselves honing those ideas into like these impossibly perfect incarnations of themselves. They've just jammed them out and they sound great because they're Radiohead and it's a great record because they're great songwriters and they're a great band, but it's not, you can tell that they haven't just died making these records. It's selfish, isn't it? Like, really, yeah. that you couldn't, like, make themselves more depressed while putting this thing together? Totally. Like, come on. And it's annoying, and you wish that they had. But despite that, there's some great tunes on it. And there are a couple of masterpiece-level Radiohead tunes mm. and a couple of tunes that rank there, up there with their best. Of course, They're yeah, There yeah. by mm. Radiohead. Which we, is a, we miss you. Which is a bit of a classic. Like, it's not like Paranoid Android, but it's still just a bit of a like guitar journey, which we haven't had in a while from them. Bit of a six-minute with a big kick at the end, you know? I reckon it's <laughs> possibly their best rocker as well, like since just, like, just really big guitar sound. Mm. How to the Thief? Uh, you know... I'll, yeah, it's fine. It's good. It's, you know, it's, it's after you've had this big creative splurge, you're thinking probably, you know, it's a bit of a lesser album and you're going, okay, well, probably it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the slow, steady mm. that a band has to go through after they've hit that. It's all going to be. It's, it's turbulence and you're starting to think like, oh, is this just turbulence or is this imminent death? Yeah, yeah. we're going to fucking come crashing down in this plane, screaming and burning. Yeah. Uh, and we wouldn't find that out until some years later. But for the time, it was a turbulent for Tom period for Radiohead. Four Toms for me as well. 